Hello, my name is Jonathan Boshin, and welcome to a special edition of FCAT South County Spotlight. Throughout 2023, the town of Deerfield celebrated its 350th anniversary with a wide variety of events consisting of everything from a New Year's Eve gala to exciting family fun with fireworks, a special 350th parade, chicken barbecue, and historical lectures and special presentations at Frontier Regional School. With a year jam-packed full of events, the year-long celebration concluded on the day of Saturday, December 30th at the Deerfield Town Hall with the unveiling of a special 350th ceramic mural that was created for the town by local artist Judith Inglese. Prior to the unveiling ceremony, which would take place at 1.30 p.m., the general public was invited to the town hall to gaze upon various displays celebrating events that took place throughout 2023, and also enjoy musical entertainment spun by local DJ, DJ Laser Chicken. The presentation began around 1.30 p.m. and began with Peter Thomas, who is the chair of the Deerfield 350th Committee, who gave a brief welcome and introduced Judith Inglese. I want to all welcome you all here. This is the last event of the 350th celebration. So it's my pleasure today to be part of this event. Um, I talked to Judith months ago and uh, I said, well, what, is, you know, what might you have in mind? And she sent me a sketch and I was blown away. I said, this, this is terrific. And what do we want? You know, we want this public art. And basically, it's her legacy to this town. And the fact that we had a number of sponsors, the Deerfield Cultural Council, Greenfield <laughs> Savings Bank, private donor, the steering committee authorized some funds to go into this. Judith was raising funds of her own and friends of Deerfield. So we made that and what she's made is priceless. So, Judith, if you'd come up. And I knew that Deerfield would do uh, a whole series of wonderful events for their 350th uh, celebration, but I thought it would be really nice to do something permanent, um, something that would commemorate this year, but also be there for future generations. And I think uh, a work of um, public art um, is a way of commemorating uh, an experience and a time. It, it's a way of enlivening the space and uh, personalizing it, telling a story, reflecting the imagination of the community and the hopes of the community. Um, and I also feel very strongly that art should be part of rural America, not just the big banks in urban centers or the big, you know, sculpture in the middle of a park, but it should be uh, part of everyone's community. So if we walk down a street, we will have the surprise of some little wonderful thing that somebody made that will change our day and make surprise us and make a total difference to our daily existence. So I propose to the town um, this idea of doing a ceramic mural and was very fortunate. I was fortunate to have everybody respond nicely to the idea. The support of the uh, uh, select board, the support of the 350th steering committee, the Friends of Deerfield, Deerfield Cultural Council was incredible. And also Peter Thomas. I, he familiarized me with the uh, history of Deerfield, which I knew minimal about, but it was not only the history of the beautiful buildings of old Deerfield, it was the history of the land and the history of all these 
amazing settlers that came into this land. I call the mural, History Flows Like a River. And for me, it's my shout out to uh, the Connecticut River. I started at the bottom of the mural, a very large caribou because I wanted to show the importance of this period before there were any settlers whatsoever. And this was a period when it was a sort of glacial and it was for 2,000 years, which was to me amazing. I mean, a really long time. And then eventually indigenous people came into the area. They fished, they hunted, they foraged, they trapped. They developed the three sisters, the farming technique of combining squash and maize and beans together, which is a technique used throughout the Americas by indigenous people. And eventually, I think around 1660, the first settlers came into the area, built houses and built fences. And so of course I thought, oh, build fences, you keep your cattle in the fence. And that was my first drawing only to be told, no, that's not what happened, that the cattle were grazed outside the fence, which I thought was just fascinating. Um, so they were just loose with wildlife, with the foxes and with the deer and with the bear, which caused a little problem to, with the indigenous people who were hunting all these animals outside. The other thing I learned was the fact that Deerfield actually had slavery, not all the families, but some of the families, starting in about 1694 till about 1780s. They worked in the house, they worked in the field, they worked in shops, and they were lent out to other families. The other big period was the middle of the 19th century with the expansion of the railroad, and so Eastern Europeans were able to come into this area. So they came from the Ukraine, they came from Lithuania, they came from Poland, they came from other Eastern European countries, and they came south from French Canada. And so it was a vibrant melting pot of different people in this area. And they started as field laborers, but then they became very influential in the community as farmers and entrepreneurs. And finally, at the very top, you'll see there are four children, diverse. And for me, they represent the vitality and the diversity of the future of Deerfield. What I did was not a timeline of events or battles, um, specific things. It's really a collage of changing ex human experiences that people have in history. And history like the river, the river that bends to the contours of the land, or maybe forms the contours of the land, history bends to the conditions, to the events, and to the people of the time. So that's what the mural is all about. Thank you. Following Judith's presentation, the mural was then unveiled. Remarks were then given by representatives from the Deerfield Select Board, consisting of Carolyn Shores Ness and Tim Hilchey. But I just have to say this is so lovely to have something permanent. We started out the year with all these great events all throughout the year. Um, and, you know, even our parade that got rained on uh, was lovely. Holly had spent so much time on it and it was just phenomenal. But this, having this for us permanently is really a wonderful, wonderful thing. To me, this is kind of like a, a living public time capsule. We're going to bury our 350th time capsule here not too, too long from now with mem memorabilia from our lives. But this will be on display for the next, hopefully, 350 years in one form or fashion, reminding people in the future of, of us. So 
just want to thank Judith, and I also want to thank um, the friends of Deerfield, and I just want to recognize Alex Hershenretter, uh, Stan Adams, Chris Harris, who's on the phone over here, um, and all the past members, uh, Jim Cambius, um, for the work that they put in throughout the year to help pay for the events that we all participated in. And uh, thanks everyone for coming. Following their statements, attendees were invited to mingle about, gaze upon the mural's beauty, and also enjoy a delicious ice cream social provided by Kathleen Tomas Catering. After everyone had the opportunity to view the mural and eat their ice cream, it was then hung outside at its permanent location on the town office building, allowing the entire community to now see this beautiful piece of art. For generations to come, the mural will not only commemorate this special 350th year, but also proudly share Deerfield's past, present, and future with everyone who gazes upon it. <laughs>